Hello, welcome to Celtic Talk Photoshop Tutorials Episode 1. I have really made a lot more tutorials, but I'm just going to start off for fresh. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this messy signature. This one here. Uh, the main features is a plain, easy to day background and a, a good focal colour point and uh, some nice clean text. Um, with this I'm going to include all the resources and the text comes with uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7, I don't know about Windows XP and the font is MyGrad Pro. So uh, this is quite a basic tutorial. I'll just undo all these layers. Before just uh, thought it one for scratch and did it for the first time during the tutorial. Alright, so start off the back uh, with the background. Slightly blue, um, if, if you wanted to one like mine with the yellow, do it with a colour which goes well with it. Dark blue goes with the yellow or um, a nice dark orange goes with a red or green, a dark green goes with a red and so on. Um, but if you go to the yellow, uh, do the background or, or red, I think it will work for red as well. This um, set it to 0, 1, 1. Uh, well, you can see it on the screen. I'm not going to read that. So set it back into that. Do whatever size you want. Um, the one I'm doing is, I think it's 450 times 130, so it's quite small. Right. Add, uh, first of all, just add the first C4D, which I'll include in the topic. Set it to screen 10% and desaturate it and put it over here. Then just duplicate it and go to filter, brush soaks, splatter and just use the default and set that to screen 20% or whatever looks good, it should look like this. Then uh, make a new layer and just grab a 200 soft uh, white brush and just dab that on there and set that to normal 41%. Then add in the second um, texture and set that to overlay 34% and I think you have to I think you need to actually that as well. But it looks good. It should look like this. All kind of blend together. Then take the third texture and set it to no I set it to overlay. Go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and put the lightness right up so all the lines turn to white, and then set it to overlay 34%. Then get your render and put it in, uh, and duplicate it so that there's four of them. With the bottom layer, just go to Filter, blur, radial blur, base, zoom, and set it to about 40. And then you go to set that to overlay 100%. Take that away. Lesions. And in the middle one, just have it as at normal. Dead down at that one. And the third one, set it, uh, first of all, desaturate it. And then go to filter, blur, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to about 2. Then for the top layer, just uh, set it to screen 
it still is. Yeah. Um, you gotta want to go to layer, new layer, add it, and then go to image, apply image, and that will apply the image on that layer. Then desaturate the layer and cut out the render and set that to normal 43% and then uh, just do the same again layer, new layer, image, apply image and do the same or uh, leave the head out so it should be like that some kind of contrast and cut out the colour again and set up to normal 42% and uh, make sure it's desaturated and then you're going to want to have a gradient map set it this set the colour on the left to 085757 And then the annoying, right, I'll better put these on. And my PC is lagging for some reason. And then set that uh, first gradient map to overlay 49%. Duplicate it and set that one to lighten around 13%. Um, if you want some render effects, I would add them now. Uh, you can do it just by taking the render, uh, the normal one, moving it on top, and the one I've just done, I've just went to filter, brush strokes, splatter, and done it, and then cut out the bits which I don't want. And then Go to layer, new layer, image, apply image, and then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to about 0 0.3, and erase any bits, quite bits, which you don't like, uh, I've erased over the face because I want some detail in that, and then add some lighting, just by getting a 100 uh, plane brush, and first of all setting it to 100, doing it about there and then setting it to about 13 and blend it in so it looks a bit like this and set that layer to normal 23% and there I've um, oh, there I've took them uh, layer new layer image apply image and I've just went to filter, sharpen, uh, well, filter, sharpen, sharpen, and that sharpened up a little bit. Now I've just added my text, Messi, um, my Rad Pro, bold italic, 24 I think it is, uh, put it to yellow, and then, I'll fucking show you this. I've done layer new layer image apply image and I've descaled it and turned it on its side so that there's some colour over the text and I've held alt clicked in between the two layers and then that puts the image inside the text giving it a wee kind of texture and I've added the bar on a small text and now I've added a border by going to fill film and we write and well in a new layer and then going to stoke and I'll set that to a dark blue one percent and set the position to inside and I'll set that to multiply sixty one percent and there's your border and there's your signature.